Hello everybody, what an interesting year 2011 has been already, uh, only 13 days in and lots of uh, interesting stories hitting the headlines. We've got the mass animal deaths which is obviously one of the biggest ones that I'm personally following right now. Um, and you've got the polar wandering accelerating causing airports to close and another unprecedented event uh, this is posted on NASA's website I'll post a link into the uh, descriptions box and it's uh, about sun diving comets uh, the sun has just experienced a storm not of explosive flares and hot plasma but of icy comets the storm began on December 13th and ended on the 22nd says Carl Battams of the Naval Research Lab in Washington DC during that time, the Solar Heliospheric Observatory, which is SOHO, detected 25 comets uh, diving into the sun. It was crazy. Sun diving comets, aka sun grazers, are nothing new. SOHO typically sees one every few days plunging inward and disintegrating as solar heat sublimes. It's a volatile ISIS. Quote, but 25 comets in just 10 days? That's unprecedented, end quote, says Batums. The comets were 10 meter class objects about the size of a room or a house, notes Matthew Knight of the Lowell Observatory in Flagstaff, Arizona. As comets go, these are considered small. So, what's making these uh, more of these go into the sun? Is, are they being uh, influenced by summer else? Now I know a lot of you will be thinking, well, I don't know how many of you follow Nibiru, not me personally, but uh, you know, you've got to keep an open mind on all these subjects. Um, SOHO excels at this kind of work, the spacecraft's chronograph uses an opaque disc to block the glare that basically helps it see objects that you wouldn't see with the naked eye um, Batams and Knight think the comet storm of December 10 might herald a much bigger sun grazer to come something people could see with the naked eye, perhaps even during the day it's just a matter of time says Batams, we know there are some big ones out there it then goes on to comment about comet Ikea Seki which is a good example from 1965 it appeared out of the blue, dove towards the sun and swooped over the stellar surface only 450,000 kilometers away. Because Ikea Seki's nucleus was large, about 5 kilometers wide, it survived the encounter and emerged as one of the brightest comets of the past thousand years. Apparently these sun graves are relative, related to one another. Astronomers call them the Kreutz family after the 19th century astronomer Heinrich Kreutz, who first studied them as a group. Modern thinking about the family is attributed to Brian Marsden and uh, probably the great comet of 1106 according to Marsden's work Ikea Seki class comets and the smaller Soho sun are just different size fragments of that one progenitor so what really interesting here is um, they're basically saying that we could be or could you be due to witness a much bigger event happening so uh, was comet Ikea Seki's preceded by a storm like the one in December 2010 he goes on to say, no one knows. We have not seen a really big Kreutz comet in the era of space-based chronographs. Notes night, Soho wasn't around in 1965 to record how many little comets dove into the sun before Ikea Seki. It might be 200 comets per year or it could be a thousand. Without more information, we can't know for sure how soon we might be privileged to see one of the real monsters. Batims offers this advice. Stay tuned to Soho.